Yo, so what's going on guys? It is Pwn here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys something a little different. It's been a while since I've done one of these, um, probably a couple months. So many of you new subscribers are about to see a different side of me. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't get a picture of my ass this time, you get the front side. So uh, this, this is something you don't see too often for me, and I think the reason for being is, is it's something that I usually do uh, reflecting on my mood. Um, obviously, if I'm in one of those, you know heavy thought type uh, process moods or I'm depressed or anything like that is generally the time where I'd like to do a real talk. So, you know, for many of you guys that are new to my channel, hope you guys enjoy this, understand. Um, I do like bringing that real side of who I am to show that, you know, many, many people look up to us as idols and, you know, celebrities and stuff like that as commentators, and we're just other people, and I like to uh, remind you guys that. So uh, we're going to get into this a little bit. This is a little bit of COD 4 gameplay. I'm using the W1200 or some shit. I don't know. So... <clears throat> Without further ado, let's cut into this. Uh, the whole idea behind this was actually brought up to me by a subscriber earlier today. He was like, hey, Pone. Um, he messaged me saying, hey, through uh, everything that you've been through through your life, I'm just proud and happy that you've turned out how you are. And that really, really touched me um, for a subscriber to actually know me because he's somebody that has obviously been watching me for a while and has understood what I've gone through and, and how I've become who I am today. And uh, I decided to go ahead and share that with you guys. And I think the topic today is going to be struggle. Um Struggle, struggle can easily just be defined by many things. I mean, obviously, it's it's overcoming tasks, it's difficulties. Uh, struggle, is most commonly referred to, is uh, not being able to excel in certain areas, not being able to keep up. And it's most commonly referred to uh, dealing with money. So most people, when you think that you've been uh, on the struggle, on the grind, that it's 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 got to do with money. It's got to do with survival. It's got to do with taking care of your family. And, uh, and I, and I want to get through that real quick. So... You know, if you guys are unaware, I've not always been this fun, fruity, and, uh, you know, loving. I've, I, I was often a very, very damaged, uh, I can't say damaged, um, just very, very hard to handle kind of person. Uh, growing up, I, I really, really had a rough moment. I was pretty much raised by my mother and grandmother. So yeah, I am a mama's boy. And, uh, my father really wasn't there for me. He, he really didn't want anything to do with me. Um, he, he was more of like that friend, not a father. And I needed a father. Every kid needs a father. And, uh, and the issue being is I never had a positive role model, a male role model in my life. So now, uh, you know, I just I just had to do the best as I could with my mother and grandmother. And I drove them up a wall and back. And uh, I really, really was one of those worst kind of possibilities for a child. I really made my mom's life hell. And, and I feel bad about it, um, knowing now that I'm an adult and I understand what it's like and, uh, you know, pay bills and do stuff like this. I understood what she went through on a day-to-day -day basis working, trying to provide, trying to take care of me, trying to deal with me and 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 all that stuff. So, you know, it took a while for me to understand what I was and and what the world was like. Um it actually actually I got thrown into the world in, at a really really wrong time. I grew up myself in the ghetto. It was really really rough. Um it was to the point where it wasn't smart for me to go outside being, you know, a white guy in a solid uh black dominant neighborhood. It was really really bad. If I had a nickel for every time my bike was stolen, man, it was, seriously, it was just it was just rough. It was just rough. But that's what I get for leaving the damn fucking tags on it, right? So, uh it was just it was just a different a different kind of environment for me. Um, my mom tried raising me on her own, and she did a hell of a job. I give her credit all the time. Um, and actually, I don't think I don't think I've praised my mom enough, or actually thank you know gone out there and thanked her for everything she's done for me. Um, I hope she just knows it's 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 different. It's different, and you know she felt she feels she honestly feels like she's failed me. And uh, that that she wasn't a good enough mother, and and that's not the case. I love her more than anything in the world, and I wouldn't be who I am today without her. I I would have been a lot worse off. But you know, like I said, I grew up in a really really bad neighborhood. Um, I got into a lot of bad things. I was that guy that I at the same time I did a lot of bad things. I really really misbehaved. But I was also to the point where I saw what drugs and drinking and alcohol and sleeping around and all that stuff from, you know, my father and my mother and everything like that. I saw the actual outcome it had on the family because the, the only person she was ever married to was not my father. Um, it was actually this other guy, Greg. And uh, he was like the closest guy that I had to like a father figure in my life. But he was in, he was in and out of prison for a drug addiction. And uh, I and I just seen what it what it did to him, and he lost his mother and brother while he was in there, and it was just it was a really really rough time for him. And uh, I, I've seen what it does to people, the the kind of money it takes, the kind of uh, you know stress it puts on a family, and that struggle right there. You know, having somebody that you love and, and 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 that's just a void in your life, somebody that has actually been there in a positive outcome. I thought I finally had a father, and he was taken away from me. So like the eight years they were married, he was in prison for like six of them on like three different times. So. You know, with that being said, life wasn't life wasn't easy for me. But that's that's what it is. I'm not expecting life to be easy. Anybody that expects life to be easy or is handed, you know, money and fortune and fame to them 
is bound to fail because when the real when the real world hits them, they're gonna get shit on. It's gonna be all over their face, smeared in in the eyebrows, and that shit's not coming out. You know, people people trip. I I hate seeing certain people that are un, unfamiliar with how the world can be and how cruel and and, and difficult life can be. I could see these guys, you know, just one random thing like, oh shit, I ran out of toilet paper, and they just have a mental breakdown. That's that's. I feel bad for the people that have been given everything because they don't understand struggle. I'm I'm a guy that really likes to, I like to sit back, and I appreciate the simple things. If I just inherited a million dollars right now, I would not go about, and I would not go out and buy a fifty thousand dollars sports car, a hundred thousand dollars sports car. I would keep it. I I know I know what it's like not even e- being able to afford ramen noodles. I know what it's like to be living on nothing. I know what it's like to have the same clothes every year at school, getting made fun of. I know what you know what it's like to be you know. Just, 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 that's how life is. Um, many of you guys, if you guys do not have, you know, that kind of difficulties, and I'm not saying that's, that's the worst. By far, there are kids that get out there, they get beat, they can't handle, they're homeless. And I'm not saying, I, you know, you know, you know, be sympathetic and, and pity me. I'm just saying that, that it was really, really rough for me growing up, and I wanted to put that out there for you guys. So if you guys are having struggles and you think your life is getting bad, remember that there's somebody out there dealing with a lot worse. And and the only way to handle that kind of thing is to just go with it. Understand it's life. Pray the next day's better. Try to, because the only thing, the only person that can make your life better is you. So depending on how you have the outlook on life, and depending on how you want to handle your life and 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 deal with your situations and problems, is going to define who you are as a person. And uh, I'm proud to say today that you know, even though I'm a goofball, I'm perverted. I like the rage. I get mad at video games. That I've become the person I am today due to my mother and what she put out and, and how she uh, sacrificed for me, uh, you know, giving herself a, a, a nice life and everything she wanted. She put me first and, you know, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm that good of a father when it comes down to it. I'm going to raise my kids right and I hope to God that I can give them everything I didn't have. I never want them to, you know, know what a hungry stomach is. I never want them to understand not being able to get those new shoes or the new Xbox game that comes out. I don't want crazy things. I don't. I don't want the money, the fame, all that good shit. I just want to be able to live simply. You know, if we want to go out and get food occasionally, that's fine. And that's that's my dream. And I think because I've dealt with struggle, I appreciate the smaller and the more simple things in life. I don't want a special car. Amanda was like, "Hey, hey, yeah, you got like ten grand. Go buy you a nice car." No, I'll, I'll spend like two grand, get a nice little car, and that's how I am. That's that's just that's the kind of person I am. I appreciate those things, and I think I think you know where everybody looks down and sees you know struggle. Life is hard. Life is hard. But like I said, there's that silver lining. You know, I've I've learned to appreciate the smaller things. I've I've learned to understand things, and I don't underestimate things of the world or life or anything like that anymore. You got to see what you want. You got to know what you want. And you've got to seize it. You got to take it because nobody else can do it for you. And as long as you sit there expecting things to happen for you. You know, you're just going to be screwed. That's not how life works. You got to go out. You got to go out there. You got to be dominant, and you got to take it. Because remember, life isn't only about you. You know, it was it was about my mom until she had me. Your life continues on through your kids and through those that you touch. So it is your job to 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 maintain struggle, to handle your uh, your issues and your difficulties in life, and to go through and try to be the best you can because you're influencing others as well. And, you know, that's where it comes through as motivation. And maybe I could talk about motivation in another commentary, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. A subscriber asked for me to talk about struggle, and I could get a little bit more in-depth and in-detail of what it was like growing up uh, for me as, as, you know, a kid and teenage years and everything like that. I can go through that in another commentary, but I just wanted to put up a little real talk because it's been a while and uh, give you guys a little taste that, you know, despite, you know, how the world treats you and how, you know, dis- distant and, and, and difficult everything may be, you just got to keep your head up. You got to keep going. You, you've got family. You've got loved ones. And even if you don't have family and loved ones, it, it, it's your job in the future to try to impact others. That's that's the thing I do. That's why I do this YouTube thing is to hope to motivate and influence other people. I got a comment on a video yesterday saying, hey, dude, my dad died yesterday and, you know, I really needed a smile. So thanks for putting up that video. That is why I do this is because I can influence. I can help entertain and I can hopefully make your guys' days better. And so that when, when when I am gone, I can look back on this day and say, hey, I made a difference. So I encourage you guys to go out there and do the best you can. And I'm sorry this video has lasted a little bit longer. If you guys would like to see another Real Talk, put some ideas down below, maybe some uh, things. If you want to hear more about my childhood, go through. Because that wasn't really about my childhood. It was just more along the lines of struggle and just random jibber-jabber. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have some more for you guys sometime. Let me know. Peace out. Get it.